Hello everybody, this is Stridebreaker back at it again, and last time, we took out Lieutenant Surge, caught a squirrel, and got our bicycle, so pretty eventful day, and some filming got corrupt, so long story short, I already fought this guy, he had level 21 Ekans, and Try Guy took him out with a dig fairly easily. Yeah, so I'm gonna be uh, taking on this route, it might take one or two episodes, and also, so I got Roshi up front, I gave, I did give him Bubble Bean. Uh, so you could have a strong attack. I did decide to keep Mew in the party, uh, over Troll, even though it would probably be pretty helpful. He's teleport to get back to the Pokemon. So I just like having Mew in the party, because, you know, flexing on legendary Pokemon, so... Yeah, I'm gonna keep Squirtle up front, so I can, uh, get an experience. If there's a Fire-type, I can just Bubble Beam on him. But yeah, Squirtle is... Or Roshi's a lot behind the entire team. Holy way, yeah, what you team? Not good for you, Roshi. Let's go to Venus. Don't use hypnosis, don't be a douche. Ha! Literally did the minimum amount of damage. I, I thought Vine Whip had 100% accuracy. How do you miss with that? Oh, great. Now you're sleeping. No pokey food to wake me up. Alright, we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, I remember in Gen 1, it takes you a turn to wake up. From flying, so I just ripped the goddamn tadpole. Critical hit, nice. Do you think you actually get Razor Leaf next level, which is gonna be so good? Roshi gets up to level 11. Oh, yeah, the whole set thing. Yeah, I am actually. I'm gonna remove it from the set right now. I did the same thing when I just got Venus and Fahrenheit, because it just. It takes so long to level up otherwise, and it's not really about the challenge right now. The challenge will come, like. More facing like gym leaders or you know rival fights where it actually makes a difference. Well, unless you're fair and hide and you just destroy our rival because he's a punk ass bitch, but you know, either or. Ah, acha, didn't get, go my way. Yeah, gamblers give you a lot of money. That guy gave me over a thousand dollars. So you're gonna turn on shift so I wish you could get more experience. I love that name for Squirtle, by the way. I can name him. I can name him anything like Sheldon or Shellshock. Roshi. Gambler wants to fight. Yeah, there's just a bunch of gamblers over here on routes. Crap, what is this? I have no idea. I, uh, I, I didn't talk about Squirtle yet, so I guess we'll uh, Yeah, when Squirtle, it uh, involves uh, the same way that Charizard does, 16 and 36. Oh god, not rap. Yeah, but uh, Squirtle in terms of type-wise against all the gym leaders and serious matchups is the best starter in that regard. And stat-wise, it's very, it's very bulky and it's very good attack. So that's really, really balanced. I think I like Charizard a bit better, but in terms of matchups, it does do the best in matchups. Uh, you know, we've already taken on the Electric Gym and Aggressions after that, but after that, he matches up very well. He matches up really good against the Elite Four and in some later. And the two last gens is super effective. So Blastoise is a very good Pokemon. The surf hits uh, very hard from a lot of good moves. I really like Blastoise. I, it's really close to Charizard for me, which one I think is better. But in terms of matchups, like who performs better, I definitely think it's uh, Blastoise. I think Charizard is overall better Pokemon. Wants to use Oddish. Going to switch over to Roshi. Also new on this route is Drowsy. Drowsy is a Psychic type. Which obviously, you know, that psychic types, how overpowered they are in this game, without really uh, a real effective weakness. Obviously, bug, but you know, B drills and you're freaking one shotted by a goddamn, you know, the most powerful bug in the Clinia. It's gonna get one shotted by any psychic type anyway, because it's poison. Yeah, hypnosis. Hypno, kind of a lot of good music. Hypnosis, Dream Eater, uh, what is it, uh, freaking psychic. You know, like, in a sense, you know, it is. You know, any Pokemon that has, like, you know, like, just, like, a normal body can also make great moves, like, Submission, Body Slam. Uh, it's really just a solid Pokemon. Uh, it's a little bulkier than Alakazam, but I still think Alakazam is a better option, but if you don't have to trade, Hypno is a really good option to use. I think you gave me the same amount of money as the other gambler. Come on, you cheap motherfucker. Do I not have an antidote? Damn it, I knew I should have brought Abra. Alright, whatever, I guess you're just gonna die of poison. Yeah, when, when a Pokemon's poison, it's going to, uh. Uh, yeah, it's gonna keep taking damage outside the battle.
But like later games, it's not going to survive one hit point. So you can a Nidoran. Uh, you know, I would do that, but I'm gonna keep within my better judgment to switch Roshi out. Try guy. Seems like a dig. Roshi? Level 13 and a Nidorino to level 4 Nidoran. I don't know how many levels Chuck's got by now. I kind of want to check, but I just want to be surprised what he got up to by the time the end of the game comes in. Obviously, if you do not know, I put my uh, temporary team member that I was using uh, to help out with Brock. Uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, Nidoran. I think it was like level 7. I mean, Chuck, Nidoran male. So, yeah, we're going to really see how well he ends up doing, how, how big he is. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think he's going to be there because he did level these by the end of it. See ya. Critical hit, too. That is almost a... That raises up... Wait, hold up. That raises up to 200 power because it's doubled. Then step. That's a 600 power move right there. A critical super effective dig. A cheap? That guy only gave me $207. The Pokemon money is just so weird. I just became a trainer, but I think I could win. Oh, so you're gonna have a uh, three starter Pokemon, right? So you just came out here and got a level 19 Sandra? Whoa, there, you have to go through like the whole process. You know, it is super effective. Against my better judgment, I'm going to stay out here. Okay, Roshi, if you miss, I'm gonna be pissed. I've. If your name is not Quitella Fahrenheit, my Pokemon traditionally have a bad track record of uh, their opening battles. Oh, there we go. Probably won't one-shot it. Yep. Oh, come on, Roshi. Hit it. Yeah, Roshi. Level 14. Shit, you're almost up to 16. Oh, Zubat. Uh, I'm not going to test my luck against this thing. Supersonic. Let's do Kutella. Oh crap. Thundershock. Oh, if I I swear to god, if I hear one more person tell me, oh, why didn't you give a uh, Kutella Thunderbolt? He's gonna learn it leveling up very soon. And there's another Pokemon I wanna give it to. Yeah, but Kutella's just an idiot and keeps hitting himself. There we go. If you don't knock this thing out, I'm going to be really pissed. I swear to God, no. Ah, I, I learned my lesson from last time with quick attack. I'm going to use Thunder Shock again. My Pokemon couldn't. They couldn't what? They just they couldn't. Uh, thought, yeah, you already got the Ekans, level 21, that I did fight off screen, but then beat pretty easily with... Try guy who is, you know, prop definitely my most powerful team member right now. I've never won before. <laughs> Go up to someone and just say that. Like the, I just don't get why these people don't even ask the battle. They're they just like it's just like a given at this point. Like if you see me, like we're just battling. Like you know, it's just a freaking given. We'll growl if. All right, Roshi, give him a bubble beam. Oh. You can take that no problem, Roji, unless it burns you, then I'm gonna be fast. Bubble Beam. Do a little more than half, right? Ooh, that was... I know you're four levels low, but that's kind of, kind of depressing. Ooh, Roar, unaffected. Yeah, Bubble Beam can actually lower your opponent's speed, so it can be useful in that regard. Critical hit. If I would have taken three shots, I really would have been disappointed. Level 15, there we go. Final Water Gun now. Now we actually do get the TM for that move, and you get this a little earlier in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I'm just gonna get rid of Bubble because, you know, it's. Water Gun's a little better, but, you know, Bubble Beam will still be your ideal attacking move. Vulpix! Alright, let's give you the Bubble Beam. Don't burn. Yeah, Vulpix is high special. 
Oh, I actually did a little better. Yes, the speed boost from Bubble Bee. Speed decrease by Bubble Bee. Yeah, now, part, well, once it becomes a nine tails, I guess. Yeah, what's up with me getting all these critical hits on the last hit? Like, have, have any of you noticed that's been happening in, like, all part? And where is she up to level 16? Which not means... Yeah, Roshi is evolving. Oh shoot, yeah, I don't mean to interrupt this timer, but we're running low on this episode, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And 